In this video, we will discuss Soch Index, which is a database that is dedicated to the field of sociology and offers full text scholarly research articles. Since you are seeking these types of resources for your sociology presentation assignment, I highly recommend using this database. The link to Soch Index is at the bottom of the database by title column, but it is also accessible through the EBSCO database, which I will show you in a little bit. To find articles in Soch Index, use the advanced search function by entering in multiple keywords. Using my research question as an example, I'll enter in selfie and body dysmorphic disorder. And hit search. Okay, so it shows me that no results were found. It's important to note that because Soch Index only contains sociology-based journals, your results can be quite limited. Therefore, I'm going to try to broaden my search a bit. So instead of selfie, I'm going to enter in social media. And instead of body dysmorphic disorder, I'm going to try body image. Okay, so by broadening my search, I have now have 43 results. I can limit these further by using the limiters on the left. So right here under limit to, I want to make sure that full text is always selected. This ensures that only full text articles uh, come up in my search. Also, since I'm specifically looking for scholarly peer reviewed journal articles, I want to select scholarly peer reviewed journals. So now I have 42 results. One other limiter is to limit by publication date. It shows me here that the oldest article that came up was published in 1983. Now, in this case, I want to try to find articles that were published within the last 10 years. So I'm going to uh, click on this left box and drag it over to the right until I come to about 2009. Okay, so now I'll only bring up articles which were published in the last 10 years or so. Okay, so now I have 38 results. Uh, one last limiter I like to recommend is where it says date newest. I like to change that to relevance. That just ensures that uh, the most cited, most often used articles uh, come to the top rather than the newest ones. So at this point, since I only have 38 results, uh, I'm going to go through and see if any jump out at me. So this looks like a good one. It's called Concurrent and Perspective Analysis of Peer, Television and Social Media Influences on Body Satisfaction, Eating Disorder Symptoms, and Life Satisfaction in Adolescent Girls. So I see this covers uh, several of my topics. Okay, it's got social media, body dissatisfaction, eating disorders, and it also represents my uh, population of adolescent girls. So once you find an article that you're interested in, just click on the title. It brings you to this bibliographic page. It shows you the authors of the title. The source, which is the journal that it was initially published in. So it's the Journal of Youth and Adolescence. It uh, says it was published in January of 2014 right here. 
Uh, then we have a list of subject terms. Now these are terms which describe the content within the paper. I always recommend that students take a moment and look at these subject terms and uh, possibly use them as keywords in your search. Uh, they can be very useful. Uh, remember, the better your subject terms, the better your keywords, the better your results are going to be. So definitely try to learn the terminology of your topic as best you can. Below that is an abstract. Now an abstract is a summary of the contents within the article. Uh, I usually recommend to go over the abstract before you try to read the article itself. Okay, and once you uh, decide that you want to access the actual article, go to the left and click on PDF full text. So here is the actual article. Uh, I want to go over this very briefly because I think this is a good example of a uh, scholarly research article where they're actually conducting original research to try to prove a hypothesis. So it begins with an abstract, a summary of the article. It has a list of keywords there. It shows an introduction of their study and probably goes over um, some information that the authors found uh, that were um, found in other studies. Then here's the methods section. So methods is actually uh, tells you how they're going to go about conducting their study and uh, what they did to, to uh, find their data. Scrolling down further is the results. So these are the results of their uh, study. Sometimes the results section can be a little bit dry. And then here's a discussion of what those results actually mean uh, to their study and maybe to the broader uh, field. And usually it ends with a conclusion just uh, tying it all up in a nice with a nice little bow and um, scholarly research articles always end with a list of references so these are other um, sources that the authors uh, are citing that they used uh, within their study usually a long list of references and references can also be useful if you find information information within the paper that you are interested in and then you can refer to the original paper that was cited. Okay, so that's an example of a scholarly research article which would be ideal for use within your um, assignment. Uh, lastly, I want to show you uh, some of the tools that are available here in um, uh, Social Index. Okay, so um, right here is Google Drive. You can drop this article directly into Google Drive if you have that open. Here's the print tool. Here's, uh, you can email the article to yourself. You can drop it in a folder by creating an account. Now here's a citation tool. So I'm gonna click on that and see if there's actually ASA available. So unfortunately, ASA is not available in EBSCO um, products. So I, I believe it is in ProQuest, which I will show you in another video. OK, so that's it for um, Social Index. Uh, next, I want to show you how to access Social Index within the EBSCO database. So let's go back to our database page. And I'm going to open up EBSCO. So it's the first selection under the popular, popular databases tab. So EBSCO is actually a host site for a variety of different databases. And for this reason, it is considered multidisciplinary. So if I click on Choose Databases, it shows me all of the different databases that are available within EBSCO. So if I go through here, I actually find that Soch Index is 
in this list, but it's not selected. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Soch Index and then click OK. OK, so by doing that, it actually accesses all the journals within Soch Index as well as uh, everything else that is selected in EBSCO. So uh, the benefit of doing that is that uh, when you search for keywords within EBSCO with Soch Index also selected, you're going to get a wide range of articles and results. But the bad thing is that you will probably get um, a lot that aren't specific to your topic. You might not get as relevant results. So it's kind of a give or take on whether or not you want to use EBSCO with Soch Index selected or if you just want to access Soch Index on its own. Okay, so on this page there are a couple other videos that dive deeper into finding articles on EBSCO. I definitely recommend these videos as EBSCO is a great resource for finding scholarly articles.